Hey everyone, it is Beggles, and today I'm playing through Circuits, a free to play Steam and Google Play Store a puzzle game that has some programming elements. Now, this is a sponsored video, so you'll see the Circuits link for both Google Play and Steam in the description. And I guess at the end of the day, it is a free game, so if nothing else, give it a try and see how it goes. But I'll play through for about 10 minutes or so, and then we'll uh, we'll talk as we go through. Now, I've already looked through this earlier, but essentially there's a bit of a storyline with Circuits, and you're a robot, and you've got to fix all the broken tiles and anyone that's done any programming like the hour of code is an educational kind of thing or code.org this kind of block coding instructional based coding is going to be really familiar so we have energy up here we have some directional based codes or inputs and we're going to try and make our little robot get to the end and do some refixing or repairing or whatever you want to call it so pretty simple i'm going to go forward forward left forward forward right forward and then do the fixing or i don't know whatever that's called when you fix something with a really hot thing i'm not a mechanic i don't know i can't think at the moment all right there we go if we get it on the first try we'll get 100 points and at the start it's going to be really simple so i really get the feeling that this has uh, young people in mind in terms of how to learn block coding and to be honest it does it in a pretty fun kind of way like the graphics are nice i haven't had any issues here if you do mess up i'm just going to show you what happens if you mess up you get a fun little animation there you go we've uh self-destructed and then you just restart and then go again what do i need to do i need to turn left go forward forward turn left forward forward turn left forward forward do our fixing Welding, I think, is the word that I was looking for earlier. I'm sorry. I'm already a couple minutes in, but I forgot the word welding at the start. You'll forgive me for that. All right, we're going to turn left to start off with. Forward, right, forward, forward, left, forward, forward, left, forward, do some welding. So as you can see here, that it starts to get pretty tricky early on. So you need to have a bit of memory, a bit of planning, and a bit of thinking. So I'm, I'm thinking that there'll be people that will get this wrong. And that's okay because it's a simplistic game. There's no real penalty apart from points. I don't know what the points really matter, uh, but there's no penalty in terms of getting it wrong. One, two, right, one, two, right. One, two, three, four. I think that's right. One, two, three, four. Then we're gonna turn right, go forward a couple of times and do our fixing. That's what's like 16 codes there. So I'm hoping I get that right. We're good. Uh, for those that like puzzles, I guess there's a bit of a, a bit of challenge in it. Uh, I'm facing that way, so I need to turn right to start off with. One, two, three, left, one, two. Turning left, forward, turning right, forward, turning left, forward. I don't play a lot of puzzle games, to be honest, but I think because this one is really simple, I've made a mistake there, I didn't do this at the end. Uh, because it's really simple, it's got that kind of like normal mobile phone puzzle progression in terms of you just playing through and going through these different levels. So I'll just finish off this first level and then we'll see a bit of a difference. Forward, forward, left, forward, forward, left. One, two, three, left, forward, right, forward, left, forward, right, forward, fix it. I have a feeling this is wrong, but we'll see how we go. Oh, there you go. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about that. So finish this first level, we're gonna move, I don't know, that one's the play button. We're turning into, you know, this new area here where we'll teach us about a new mechanic. And like, to be honest, I did play through those first levels just to get a feel for the game before this video. So um, I don't think you'll breeze through it as quickly. Well, I hope not, because I made a few mistakes. Uh, I'm gonna skip the storyline, but essentially we get a new feature here and it's the ability to use sequences. So this is when you start to see some coding or some different kind of uh, programming uh, challenges in here so you can see for someone that hasn't done any coding before it starts to teach them different iterations different commands so we've got the ability to use this sequence function here and we've also got a limitation in terms of how much energy we can use so we can't do forward forward uh right forward weld anymore because we don't have enough so we've got to start to problem solve in a little bit um by using this sequence here so i want my sequence to go forward forward uh maybe turn right and now I can do all those as one command, only using one energy. Once I've turned right, I just need to forward and do some welding. All right, so pretty simplistic, but makes everything a little bit more challenging. 
All right, this time I've got to fix up some tiles actually within there. So what I want my energy to do, how do I do this? Forward, forward, then do some welding. And then I think what I will do is I will do sequence, turn left, and then sequence. I believe this should work because I'll walk forward, I'll fix, I'll weld this tile, then I'll turn left, and then I'll walk forward a couple of times and fix it again. All right, we are good. And we are officially up to the parts of the game that I haven't played before. So this is where you'll see my limitation in terms of problem solving prowess. All right, so I'm gonna need to turn left. That's what I wanna do first. Weld, go forward, turn left. Well, I think that will work three times. So I'm gonna go turn left, go forward, weld and then go forward. And I think if I do that four times, let's see how it goes. I don't know, I feel like I go, oh, okay. All right, we've made, so as you can see there, we've made some mistakes. I've turned the wrong way. Turn right, forward, world, forward. Turn right, forward, world, forward. Let's go with that. All right, and to be honest, in terms of a puzzle game, I actually quite like that I'm having to think my way through this. If the game was completely like you saw in this first level here, I think I'd get a bit bored of it. And I think most people get a bit bored of it as well. I am worried that I'm about halfway through the 28, so I'm not sure how the length, the time you're gonna get out of it. But like I said earlier, it's a free game. So even if you chuck it on your phone and you get I don't know, get an hour on the bus or something. It's not the end of the world. I can use it six times. So I need to go forward, forward, weld, weld. I think I've got to put that in. And this one will be forward, forward, weld, weld. So forward, for. Wait, wait, I'm doing this wrong. Forward, 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 weld, forward. Forward. I think I've done that wrong. Forward. No, no, I've done that wrong. Forward, forward, weld, forward. And then I'll do one more weld there. And then up here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that sequence and I'm going to turn left, forward, forward, turn left. Let's see how, they, and then I want to do that sequence again. Let's see if that works. All right, I'm feeling good. I'm actually really nervous. I've never played a puzzle game before where if I completely fluff it up, my lack of wit and my lack of uh, puzzle prowess is going to be there for everyone to see. All right, let's do one more and then we'll talk a little bit about it. This time I'm going forward, forward, weld. I think that's the same sequence each time, isn't it? So it's forward, forward, weld, forward. And then here we'll do that. We'll turn left, do it again, turn left, do it again. One more time. Left, do it again. All right, feeling pretty good about that. All right, so there's still one more puzzle to go in this area, but I'll, we'll go back. Um, that's pretty much what this game's about. There's a few different languages and stuff, if you're, if you're you know, six different languages there, but essentially gonna keep playing through this. I'm pretty sure that we're gonna see some different things in terms of loops and different programming language there. I don't think this is a game that's gonna take you too long to play, but if you're looking for something to play alongside someone, especially if you're just getting into that educational coding space, I think so quits might be a really good uh, good idea to do. As I said earlier, I'm gonna have some links in the description. I recommend checking them out. Let me know how you feel. Let me know if you, let me know some of the puzzles that you uh, run into in the future as well. and. Yeah, thanks for watching. Might jump in and see what level 13 looks like. Left. Oh, my brain always thinks that I should automatically just do this in the in the normal way. All right, I'm going to get back into this. See if like how long it takes me to beat Sir Quits. Let me know how you go.